Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to solve one example using trapezoidal rule to evaluate the area under a curve. Trapezoidal rule only works with definite integrals, a definite integral of any function that you want. So we have integral from a to b f of x dx. And here is how it works. You take delta x and you divide it by 2 and then you multiply by the sum of f of x sub 0 plus 2 times f of x sub 1 plus 2 times f of x sub 2 plus and you keep all those 2's until you get down to 2 times f of x n minus 1 plus f of x sub n that is trapezoidal rule. Keep in mind that you do not multiply the first and the last term by 2. We just multiply what's in the middle. So for delta x, we have b minus a over n. b and a are from the integral and n is given in the example. Now let's work through our problem. What we are going to do now is we're going to approximate the integral from 0 to 3 x squared plus 1 and we're going to approximate it with n equals 5 with n equals 5 means we're going to have six terms in the equation from x sub 0 through x sub 5 first let's figure out delta x delta x equals to b minus a over n. For b, we have 3, minus for a, we have 0, over 5, or 3 over 5, which equals to 0 0.6. Now we need to figure out our x sub 0, x sub 1, x sub 2, etc. I will write it like this. So we have x sub 0, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, and x sub 5. Now what is x sub 0? x sub 0 will always be a. From our integral it is 0. And x sub 5 will always be b. Or in our case it is 3. So now for x sub 1. For x sub 1, we are going to sum the previous value of x plus delta x. So we have 0 plus 0 0.6 equals 0 0.6. So for x sub 2, we will sum x sub 1 plus delta x or 0 0.6 plus 0 0.6 equals 1.2. For x sub 3, we have 1.2 plus 0 0.6 equals 1.2. 1.8 and 1.8 plus 0 0.6 it is 2.4 and now you can see if you sum 2.4 plus 0 0.6 you will get our the x sub 5 value or 3. Now let's write it like this. t sub n or in our case t sub 5 equals to for delta x we got 0 0.6 over 2 and now f of x sub 0 or f for x sub 0 we got 0 plus 2 times f of 0 0.6 plus 2 times of f of 1.2 plus 2 times f of 1.8 plus 2 times of 2.4 plus f of 3. Do you remember that we do not multiply the first and the last term by 2? Now we look at our definite integral and we can see that f of x 
in our case is x squared plus 1. And what we do next in, is we plug in the numbers that we've got for x sub 0, x sub 1, x sub 2. Let's do it. t sub 5 is 0 0.6 over 2. And now I just plug in this 0 at the place of x. So 0 squared plus 1 equals 1 plus 2 times, now 0 0.6 squared, plus 1, and then plus 2 point, 2 multiplied by 1.2 squared plus 1, and then plus 2 times 1.8 squared plus 1, plus 2 times 2.4 squared plus 1 plus 3 squared plus 1. If we calculate this everything, we will get a final answer of 12.18, which is the approximate area under a curve. This is how we do trapezoidal rule. Thanks for watching.